Scott Walker, MIT alumni rep. We had an appointment at 3.30. It's nearly 4. Right, yeah, look, I'm, I'm sorry you came and waited, but I'm, I'm not interested. You're not interested? In MIT? Nope. It's too bad. I was really curious to interview the kid with the 4.6 GPA who so blatantly plagiarized his application essay. Whoa, 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 hold on. I, I didn't plagiarize anything. She plagiarized Nelson Mandela, Jesus. She? Yeah, my girlfriend um, wrote this application. I'm guessing she Googled good speeches and picked one that sounded smartest to her. I'm surprised she didn't go with I have a dream. Are well, you sure you don't want to do the interview? I'm already here. Yeah, no, thanks. I hate Boston. Red Sox suck. OK. It's unlikely you could have gotten in anyway. <laughs> what is that? Reverse psychology? Let me guess, you minor in psych thinking it would give you a leg up in business negotiations. You may have a 4.6, but you also required a three semester senior year due to truancy. And competition is pretty intense if you require a full scholarship, which I'm guessing that you do. Wow, why don't you just go ahead and call me white trash while you're at it? Competition's tougher at this level, that's all. This level, Jesus, give me a fucking pen. Your insipid essay question asked me to tell you in 250 words about my most significant challenge in life. Honestly, it's hard to pick one. My guess is that you want to hear about my alcoholic father and my runaway mom, or maybe about you how would my eat that shit up. Tooth and nail. But those aren't my greatest challenges in life. An education system that pretends to be a meritocracy, but doesn't take it away or consider that my What would you want to study at MIT, provided you could get past my well-meaning oblivion and the proximity of the Red Sox? Robotics. But none of that undergrad filler bullshit. No 200-seat lectures taught by TAs. I just want the shit out in front of me. The shit? Yeah, the tools. You know, the toys, the stuff I can't get access to in my ghetto high school. Why? Because... I'd like to hang out with C-3PO in my lifetime, and at the rate you're going, that shit's not gonna happen. I'm not following. You don't want to go to classes, you just want to play in a lab. I don't want to sit in a lecture that teaches me how to modify algorithms instead of think for myself. And? the people working the weaving machines in the 17th century. No, they didn't see the steam engine coming. One invention, industrial revolution. I mean, Encyclopedia Britannica didn't see Wikipedia coming. Great things don't happen in, in, in tiny little increments. You know, they happen when someone thinks completely differently. And all you geniuses, you just, you're just modifying algorithms. C-3PO, huh? That dude's a badass. You know, he's fluent in over six million forms of communication. <laughs>